Sugira. Hey, what's up? Bringing the van around. You see me? No, I don't see you, Sugihura. But you know what I do see? The next episode of Judgment, baby. <laughs> hey, howdy, I'm one Mossy here, back in action. With more van attraction. Buddy, what do you want? What, what do you need? Welcome aboard. Where's Higashi? Already inside. I haven't noticed anything weird out here. Kido should be showing up any minute. And what happens when he does? We'll shove him in the van and drag him over to Charles. What? Higashi's arcade? It's not like we had a lot of time to think about it. We'll interrogate him once we get there. Right, Yagami-san? Yep. And speak of the devil. There he is. Mr. Perv himself. Ugh. Surprised he actually showed. Once Poon, Kaito. All right, let's get move it. out. Badly, I get it. Time to go in. Time to beat his ass. Time to tell him he needs to cut some grass. What are you doing here? Buddy, what are you doing? Not sure what you mean. Cover one of the areas. The agency is just a couple blocks away. It's strange to see you here, though. What brings you out to Kamrocho? <laughs> well, I... Maybe oh. meeting a seductive journalist? I understand now. You're the ones behind all this. What will you do with that video? Nothing. If you give us what we want. What is it, money? No, we're after something else entirely. What are you going to do to me? We're just taking you for a little trip. No. No, I'm afraid you're not. Hmm? Eh? You he forget. Has I'm a powerful man. Huh. Who are these assholes? Health Ministry thugs, if I had to guess. Huh. Do they have them all over the city or something? Delete that video, Yagami! Bye. Buddy, I'm just gonna beat your ass right now. So you don't have to worry about it. And uh this. Now everyone's done! Maybe this should have the test. I don't wanna say. Stay back! Don't come any closer! Yeah, this this was not a hard fight at all. <laughs> Look where all that power got you. Nobody's running to help now. Not the ADDC, not the Ministry of Health. I've been waiting a long time for this moment. If you kill me, think what will happen to AD9. Their research will come to a screeching halt! <laughs> Don't worry. Nobody's killing anybody. But I suggest you learn a little humility. I never said I wouldn't hurt you. Right? He deserves to be hurt. Come on. We're out of here. All powerful men do. And by powerful, it's in quotations. It's just the truth. Yeah, he's a design, he's good. Glad to see it. Man, it's been a while since I did something like this. Feels good getting back in the groove, you know? <laughs> you always did have a habit of stripping him down. Well, yeah. Everyone's the same underneath all this bullshit. Right? Scientist, doctor, whatever. Hello, Kaito, man. Listen here. He really is the Kaito Kaitos. But if you don't release me... You'll have your assassin hunt us down? I'll take extensive legal action against you. Huh. Who knows what would happen if you did that? I might accidentally let that video loose to the press. <laughs> what? If that doesn't sound good to you, start talking. You're going to tell us everything you know about 89. Bro, like, literally, you hold none of the cards. You're, you're the asshole that decided to be like, I'm untouchable. Now look what happened. This is gonna be a while. Guess we can take turns heading out to grab food. 
<laughs> That's kind of cool. Hey, remind me what we're trying to get out of him? Where yeah, we can get remember. proof of the 89 experiments. Whether or not we actually get that proof depends on us. And I want to talk to Kaito. I'm ready when you are, man. Ooh, do we or get to beat his ass? you want to him up some more first? Oh, Kaito, I want you to rough him up some more. Why me? What do you people want? Who are those guys at the batting center? Well, I... <laughs> you mentioned how powerful you are. Did you hire them to protect you? <sighs> Out with it already. Quit acting like you got any goddamn dignity. Uh, you've made me a very happy man today. Why don't we have some real fun now that the interview's out of the way, hmm? My little minx. Who would have thought the scientist who was gonna save the world would turn out to be some pervy asshole? Hey? Your name's gonna go down in history if this gets out. And not how you're hoping. Stop. I'm begging you, please. Who were those thugs at the batting center? Hitman. On the Ministry of Health payroll. Ichinose's payroll, in other words. That's right. I think you mean, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ichinose-san knows I've been abducted. More of them could rush in here at any minute if you don't release me. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, we've got this whole fighting thing pretty down by now. <sighs> Next question. It's about what happened three years ago. <laughs> huh? An Alzheimer's patient at the ADDC <laughs> at the name of the <laughs> time, Shinpei Okubo was thought to be the killer. The truth yeah, is, it was an unforeseen consequence of 89. Which Shono had administered to this Wakusan. You knew, didn't you? What? Cat got your tongue? Guess you're about to become internet famous then. <laughs> Wait! Answer me, Keto! The thing that gets me is that no matter what, he's screwed. Yes! I knew. Who told you? When? How? I'm sorry. I can't say any more than that. If I did, I... Please, just give me some time to figure things out. Time's one thing I don't have. Shinpei Okubo's about to get executed for a murder he didn't commit. What? I need to get every last bit of information out of you right here. I'll even resort to torture if I have to. Torture? You'd break the law over this? What? You already broke the law? Doesn't sound fun to you? Of course not! Then start talking! <laughs> Nobody's gonna come help you now. I'll give you a chance to think it over. You better be ready by the time I come back. Beat his ass! Beat his ass! Kido's already a broken man. My guess? At this point, he's just desperate to save his own skin. Yeah, I guess so. Maybe you should take a breather. I'm sure giving Kido some time to stool make him realize talking's the only option. We'll keep an eye on him in the meantime. Thanks, Sugira. I appreciate it. Hey, even a guy like you needs to take breaks. We've been up and out all freaking day. Yes, we have. We literally have been just doing nothing but that. Oh! Hey! New friend! New friend! I, I haven't had this new friend. <gasps> new new friend! Also new friend! You have two new friends and they're both at trunken places. I needs to go! Well, I could just travel over there using magic! Damn, just getting into places sometimes is just like the worst thing in the entire world and I don't get it. Like, look at that. We already have another person here and I had like three big fights. We're not talking like little fights of like three people. We're talking big fights of like five to six. I'm just like, how? I don't know. Let me in. Let me in the damn place. Let me in the shell cow. 
I want to see a new friend. You're a journalist, dude. Get on his home. So we meet again. Hmm? You're that journalist from before? No more. The name's, uh, Hiro Noma. Well, I'm actually just a freelancer now. That's neither here nor there. Noburu Ahiramomo. <laughs> Did not say that right. Sorry to throw this to you at all. Uh, at, all, uh, at you, but I hear you're not only a detective, but also a jack of all trades. Is that right? Hmm. Not sure what you heard. Uh, where you heard that, but I'll take a case as long as it's up up my alley most of the time. I see. Then I have a job for you. I need you to take some pictures of a certain someone. I'll be compensating you, of course. How does that much yen sound? All right. What yep. do we gotta do? That'd be nice. Who's a certain someone you need pictures of? You know, uh, Kotatsu, uh, Ikarashi, right? The guy who framed, uh, Horny and Nata? He's, uh, apparently been on hiatus ever since that whole fiasco. So I need to get, uh, me his picture. Hmm? What could you possibly do with that, though? Well, apparently he's, uh, going under some hard times. Heard his agencies, uh, been keeping him from appearing on TV and such. Since he can't run any games of his own, he resorted to pestering uh, customers on Sin Rio uh, Avenue as a barker. <laughs> Frankly, I thought uh, that sounded pretty funny. So I want to see it for myself. He's really fallen down the hole, hasn't he? Yep. Maybe he thought it'd be easier to pull uh, people in. Give us 15 minutes of fame, if you call it that. Anyway, would you mind uh, helping me out? Try to get as close as you can. So we just do little missions for him? What about you, bud? How are you? Yogami's home. Oh, nice to see you, Yogami's home. Hey there, uh, Katagiri san. Mind if I join you? Yeah. The more, the merrier. Come on over. Yogami san, would you be willing to share any interesting cases with me today? Hmm. Sure thing. Let's see. A case would be a good inspiration for a detective now. Talk about the wanted criminal. Did you hear what happened to Gamo? The guy who escaped from prison. Yes. I heard he recently got arrested. I'm the one who caught him. <laughs> Get out of town. You did? Well, yes, but... Turns out he just wanted a decent burger. Uh, I didn't get a bad vibe from him. But he wasn't that dangerous criminal. Uh, they were betraying him all over the other news. Must have been a damn good burger. We still have a few more cases, I guess. <laughs> Thank you for sharing all these valuable experiences with me. Uh, excellent story material, to say the least. Hope you don't think I'm downputting all your hard work. You have just inspired the next bestseller. Hey, we got it! He's our friend friend now. I'm sure uh, Katagawa-san will be happy to hear that. <laughs> uh, I should hope so. He is always the first to read my work. So as long as it makes it past him, my book is in the clear. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like he's a tough customer. I'm sure your novel won't disappoint. I'm looking forward to reading it, too. <laughs> uh, then I'll get right to work. Talk to you later. Take care, uh, Katagiri-san. Thank you, Katagiri-san. So I guess we will do two things. We're going to go to uh, here to do that. And I forgot where the other thing was. I don't think it was theater. I think it was like Senryu. Where, where is Senryu? I know that's a place. Oh, right here? Is it here?
Okay, we found him. He's just right over here. If that's the case. Camera time, baby. Uh, I, we probably would want it with people. Buddy, what are you doing? That's him? That's that's the dude. I need to I need to see him like actually interact with somebody. Uh there. I, I got you twice over. Who is this? Ah. Nah, here he is. Nah. Hey buddy! Yeah, you over there! Wants to see of a vulturous vixens today. Looks like you could use the attention. Mm -hmm. Huh? Isn't that uh, Igarashi? <laughs> hey, Igarashi, that, that the thing you always do. You know, with your eyeballs. <laughs> Want to see uh, you do something with balls? Huh? Oi, oi. And how about I uh, whip out my dangly leathery sack? And then we'll see who's laughing. Uh, let's get out of here. This new material is terrible. Yeah, you really got off out of deep end. And I think I felt sorry for you. What? Why the get out of here? Bunch of cheap skits. Wow, he really has no shame. I doubt he'll be making a comeback anytime soon. Well, time to get that photo. Need to get as close as I can. Alright, so this is how we get it now. Alright. In photo missions, your goal is to investigate certain incidences. Uh, raise camera. Now. Hmm. It's kind of far, but this would work. Nah, nailed it. Now that's a solid picture. Guess it's back to, uh, Shalik for me. Okay. Oh, he's gone now. He's just, he's just straight up gone. Okay. That's fine. Let's just go. Whatever. Why are you people always around? I don't understand. See, that time you only see like a small little bunch. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Show up randomly and anywhere. So, talking to the street then. Whatever. See what I mean though? Look at this alley. It's just infested with things. Like, wow. Uh, oh, these guys. I'm literally just trying to live my life here and you fucking won't let me live my damn life. This is why judgment's bad. This specific reason here. I just, I can't be left alone. And stay down. Please. Let me live my damn life. I want to show him the picture I I, I took. Up. What's up? Would you wanted this? Yeah, I oh, yeah, was. Delivers the goods. That was fast. You got it, bud. So there's like three of them. Yeah, I could definitely use this. I can almost see the headline now already. A little something for your trouble. <laughs> well, it looks like it's back to the office with this guy. Thanks. Sure thing. Let me know if you ever need uh, any more help. All right, that was cool. The next thing we have to do is just go over there. Uh, see uh, our new friend here, and I'll be it. Time to get drunk like a skunk, because skunks can apparently get drunk. Oh, it's you. Sir? Thank you for stopping by. Hmm? Hey, what's going on? You look pretty wiped out. Oh, my apologies. Just then lately I've had our fair share of some customers, I'd say. Atom Ode. Hire some customers? Uh, I apologize. I'm sure you wouldn't want to hear me uh me griping. Actually I wouldn't mind hearing it out. Very well then. I was about to say that I've been dealing with people who haven't the slightest idea how to order. Now, what do you think is the most troublesome kind of customer for a bartender? Huh. Now there's a question. 
Customers who don't order alcohol. Customers who leave it up to you. Customers who order cheap drinks. Customers who leave it up to you. Hi. Precisely. A lot of customers think this being sauvé by ordering whatever I recommended. But in truth, it throws me off. Although I'm confident in each and every item on our menu, I have no idea how to tell what the customer really wants. <laughs> Seeing as I'm not a mind reader, I simply don't know what to make for them. Let's see how that might en end up giving you a headache. For instance, if the customer refuses to drink it, that one might not suit their taste. That's why I appreciate a little more information on orders like those. Let's see. This is better to put a little more effort into getting to know the bartender, huh? Indeed. It's different from regular customers since I already know their preferences. Ah. Then I'd better stop by more often so you uh, know what to get from me. <laughs> Please do. Would you uh, like me to get you something started? Oh wow, he just like went up halfway. Uh, let's just get ourselves uh, of a super Nika. Because we're always with our friend Nikki. He's a sweetie. Mm -hmm. I get a spot. Back to it. Now, super in the title. Frankie from One Piece would be proud. Now that we're all done with that. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm, not gonna, I'm not trying to get in any more fights. No, thank you. Please stop trying to fight me, everybody. Let's go bother with. um... Mr. Nakey man. Why oh, actually though? No, I'm not. Okay, cool. Let's see you, sir. Out of the way. But, but I, I don't want to deal with this. I'm just, I'm just not gonna deal with it. Uh. I hate this system. I hate this system. I hate it. Damn. I'm trying to leave. Alright, talk, dumbass. Ready to talk yet? We're waiting. <laughs> yes. Three years ago, Shono killed a patient by experimenting on him with 89. When did you find out? Right after the press conference. The one where we announced AD9 to the world. Shono told me himself. Just thinking about it makes my blood boil. Even after all this time. I have some concerns about AD-9. At the moment, it's only effective on mice. I'm well aware of that, yes. But I'm confident it will work on humans, too. No. I'm afraid you're mistaken. What's this now? We just had a fantastic conference. This is no time for doom and gloom. Just sit back and try to relax. You deserve it. Oh, and by the way, Ichinose was thrilled with what he saw. One day we're almost getting shut down, the next we have a massive budget. And if you can make consistent progress, AD-9 will head to clinical... At this stage, I'm afraid clinical trials would be inadvisable. If we try, all the test subjects will die. Are you sure? How can you say that with such confidence, huh? Shinpei Okubo was actually innocent. What? Innocent? Why are you bringing this up now? The court ruled correctly. Waku-san, his murder didn't play out like you think it did. This dude is such an asshole. The real cause of death was none other than AD-9. What do you mean? That murder was was you. It was a secret clinical trial for 89. I gave him the injection personally. <gasps> you did what? Please, I... 
I had to take this opportunity. The whole world is waiting for this cure. But when I injected him, he let out the most horrible scream. These hands covered his mouth. I tried to make him shut up. I hate this dude so much. He's just like... He's one of those people that's like, oh, this isn't my fault. But he still does it. He still does the bad thing. And I feel like that's worse than somebody that knows they're bad. You know? And I feel like Yakuza definitely, with its most recent entries, has gotten that a lot. These people that are, um, very clearly they, they shouldn't. <laughs> you feel me? Uh, I'm generally surprised Wiener Pervert Man is the better person of this. So far. Who knows? He could easily prove me wrong. Which means you... You're a murderer. <laughs> How could you be such a damn fool? What are we going to do? Shono, I just spent the entire afternoon talking up your drug to the press. With my goddamn name on the research! If you hadn't held that press conference, the ADDC would have been done for and you- Why didn't you tell me this before? I needed you, Dr. Kido. I couldn't let the center get shut down. The AD9 project would have been terminated. You understand, beep But you know, this has been my entire life's work, ensuring that AD9 would save the world. <sighs> this whole thing is preposterous. I'm going to the press. There's no need for that. Huh? Don't you understand, Director? As long as we finish AD9's development, there won't be any issues. Your name will go down in history as the man who oh my saved God, the world. Oh my God, this man is a psychopath. Not to mention the money. But if you really insist on revealing the truth, both of our careers would go down the drain. And you have more to lose, director. Shono, you're mad. He's obsessed? Is that all Shono told you? There's gotta be more. <laughs> Wakusan wasn't the only person Shono killed, was he? No. He needed Shinpei Okubo to take the fall. And murdered Emi Terasawa to accomplish that. So you did not! Hey! <clears throat> Fuck that! Save it, Sugira. We're not done yet. You got him right where we want him. He won't hide any anything anymore. What happened next? After Shono killed Emmy? <laughs> Don't you already know? You had Hashki murdered. I didn't! It wasn't me! Hashki was digging around, trying to find something wrong with 89. You and Shono didn't like that too much. But you needed some help to take care of him. Someone else who wanted to protect 89. That person was... And Shono and Kido asked for help in protecting 89 was. The, the Minister of Health, he's obviously has to be the biggest bad, you know? Ichinose, from the Ministry of Health. <gasps> yeah. The guy who it. founded the ADDC made it a place all the old guard ministry execs could retire to. Yes. Shono and I went to ichinose san and pleaded with him to help us. After all, he's known for being well-versed in political matters, both above board and otherwise. So, we told him everything. About Waku-san dying in the experiment, about Emi Terasawa, every last detail. Without hesitation, Ichinose-san agreed to help us with the cover-up. According to him, 
protecting AD9 was top priority. Hence why he decided to silence Ashki. Ichinose-san knew he was Kajihira's spy from the start, and acted accordingly. Meaning he's the one who first dragged Hamura and Kuroi away into this bullshit. Real barrel of fucking monkeys. With Hashki out of the way, all that was left for us to do was complete in 89. But we realized something. If we entered clinical trials and another patient died, our dream too would be dead. The ADDC would be no more. And all our sacrifices would have been for nothing. Your sacrifices? How can you say that with a straight face? You're not the ones who died for some bullshit drug! <laughs> Go on. Through all my hesitation, Shono kept pushing. Aggressive to a damn fault. He said we couldn't be afraid of failure if we really wanted to finish 89. That we needed to keep experimenting until we succeeded. He also said the only way to speed up development was to keep conducting clinical trials in secret. Shona was adamant about that. Why? Think about it. If we could hide the fact that our subjects were dying, we could continue experimenting despite the risks. In order to do so, we needed a way to quickly procure and discard test subjects. With that, it would only be a matter of time until AD-9 was complete. And those test subjects were the Kyori clan men. Ichinose-san listened to every single one of Shono's requests. My only role in all of this was obtaining the funds required. And so, money flowed into the ADDC from the Ministry of Health. Money which I gave to Shono allowing him to build a secret lab in Kamarucho. A secret what? lab? It's where he carries out all of his human experiments. Bud! One, he isn't as bad as Shono. Two, what the fuck, Shono? Three, what the fuck, dude? Amura mentioned a secret lab for doing the human experience back in, uh, Homorun. Where exactly is this lab? I'm not sure of the specific location. I try not to come between Shono and Ichinose-san unless absolutely necessary. So that lab is where all the killings happen, where those Kyori guys were slaughtered. If anywhere's gonna have evidence, it's there. You sure you don't know where it is? Detective Kuroyo I would, of course. He's not as talkative as you, though. In that case... There was another person involved in setting up the lab. Who? Was A it subordinate Mike of from Sasan. Breaking Bad? I believe his name was... Ishimatsu. I've heard that name before. He was the middleman between Hamura and Shono. Where's this Ishimatsu guy? In Kamorocha. There's a Ministry of Health office up in the Millennium Tower. Apparently, he'll be in tonight. Wait, the Millennium Tower? That's where they oversee Shono's secret lab. Nobody knows the office is there. The sign out front even has a different name. They really got a place like that? Well, Ishimatsu knows where the lab is, yeah? This'll be easy. <laughs> Just gotta strip him down and force him to talk. Hold up. I've got a better idea. Hmm? First, we give this Ichimatsu guy some kind of reason to go to the lab. Then we just follow him from the Millennium Tower. Not bad. Ishimatsu himself will lead us straight there. But how are we gonna get him to go? 
Well, we'll, uh... We'll get our buddy Kido here to give him a call. Huh? Say something about how we're closing in on the lab. Tell him you need him over there to stand guard. You know, that might just work. And what? You think I'll just agree to this? You better. If you don't want to spread your little video, that is. <sighs> that settles it then. What does Ishimatsu look like? Uh, he's in his 50s. Always wears a gray suit. A sh short man. Not that much over five feet. Uh, ah, and he always wears gloves. That can be any regular-ass old dude in this town. Anything else? There may be photos of him on the internet. You seriously telling us to just search him? Yes. Er, well, not exactly. Try looking up Vice Minister Ichinose. Ishimatsu might have ended up in a photo of his at some point. Hmm, gotcha. Could take a while, but I should be able to find something. Kaito, Gashi, mind hanging back here with Kido? Sure. What about me, then? You get to tail Ishimatsu with me. You're good at that kind of stuff, right? Guess so, yeah. Well, let's head to the Millennium Tower. Be safe, you two. I'll send you a shot of Ishimatsu once I've got one. Great. Let's move out.